When it comes to fixing my tails and my dings, I go to Jimbo's Dingoes. Jimbo's, Jimbo's Dingoes. You can find us in our lovely. Okay, that's enough self promotion. Does either one of you have anything even remotely interesting to tell me? Caught my first tube this morning, sir. The shizzle on the whistle. The whistle shizzle. The shizzle on the whistle. The shizzle on the whistle. The Jamin and Pierre. Okay. Let's do it. Welcome back to uh, the Shizzle on the Whistle, everybody out there. And in here, uh, the good old speaker telt at uh, Reve. Um, yeah, back after uh, a sunset mission uh, I have with me, as always. And this time with a whole different person. He just looks like Ivar. But we'll get to that later. Yeah. Uh, right next to me, Scotty. Hello. Welcome back. Yes, Hi boys. Scotty. Nice see you. Yep. Yeah. And next man on the on the seating round is Jamin. Welcome back, brother. Yes. You finally made it back. Made it back again. And um, a man formerly known as Ivor, but now goes under the name of number three in the world. King of the world, I, I prefer. Which kind of, yeah. Fantasy King. <laughs> Eva, welcome. Thank you, pal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Does that so, mean he's a dic- is he a dictator now or is he yeah, just a dictator? Yeah. He yeah. is uh, he is living up to his name on the fantasy. So yeah. but we'll get to that a little bit later, uh, in more depth. Sunset. How was it? Friggin' sunset. Yeah, what do what did you um what do you boys think about the, the conditions? Start we'll start there. Uh, can I can I start? Well, you yeah, know, as ahead. a comparison of, uh, you know, we're all a little bit kind of like maybe not as stoked as we usually be after that pipe con S because it was a little bit more of a, like a, a toilet pipe than a... Yeah, that's putting it mildly, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> yeah, a bit of foreplay. You know, but it was good to see finally it wasn't all time sunset, but the waves did turn up a couple of times and I kind of feel like that... Uh, competitively and you know just watching watching everyone uh including the girls you know get through their heats it was yeah it was an awesome contest i kind of felt it it ticked the boxes it kind of had you on the edge of your seat a few times and uh it also had you cursing at eva all the time (laughs) the whole whole way through the whole whole way through through. you know and you know i don't know we'll talk about the fantasy thing a bit later but it, it it was just like i couldn't believe that he had 10 guys. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend said, hey, James, uh, hey, check out Eva's score. And I said, there must be a mistake there. <laughs> I, I think uh, he, you system. haven't refreshed your system. page since uh, the comments. And I was like, oh, no, that's impossible. It says he's got 10 guys left. I think yeah. I had six or something. Yeah. And I was just thinking, uh, Jesus, all that, you know, all that good info that we give him. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! We are we are we are good at what we do. Yeah. Um, so, m- so congratulations, so Eva! Thank congratulations, you, thank mate! You. Yeah, well done. It's, was, it's all thanks to you, boys. Yeah, no, you know what? This is gold because I just think uh, it just goes to show that, uh, yeah, it's luck of the draw. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like seriously, we all we all sit here and we all we all try and like, you know, you know, imagine what could have been or you know where we went wrong with our with our calls and everything but like i say every week it's all luck if that wave comes you know that was generated thousands of kilometers away turns up just as you're sitting there and you're in the right spot where it's going to break on the reef Mm -hmm. i mean there's guys that improve their luck you know they have uh they do everything they can to to be prepared for those waves or whatever but at the end of the day mate if the wave they're all at they're all at that level where if that 10 point ride comes Mm. There's a good chance they'll be getting it. So, um, but yeah. as Eva said, and that's kudos to us that he picked his team after he listened because he wasn't here last time. Yeah, yeah, I was uh, after he listened to the podcast. Through. He was uh, he was picking his team. Almost, so, so, so we, we we can take a little bit of the claim. Yeah, I think I almost have to go back and re-listen to that episode and then listen to what I, we actually told I can, him to I can, choose. I can say this. I can do this right away. Um, we're going to do more fancy later, I guess. But uh, the thing is, uh, because of the close proximity between uh, Pipe and Sunset, I had to... I wasn't here for the last episode. Uh, I had to edit the episode, really, because I, that's what I do. I, I, I have the... 
the he's, equipment and he's, the edit, he's yeah. cutting out all the illegal yeah. shit that we're talking about <laughs> yeah. he's just at home scissoring himself <laughs> scissoring out all the good jokes from Damon <laughs> and uh, no I was I was uh, realizing that oh fuck Sunset is on tomorrow and I was editing in the evening and I needed to pick a team and while I was listening to you guys I was picking my team based upon all of your guys' um, uh, thoughts but I think the good thing for me was that I was listening to everyone yeah Whereabouts pair wouldn't listen to Jamin, I guess, and Jamin wouldn't listen to Scott, you know? This is not kidding at all. It, I was completely following you guys. Mm. Okay, cool. Plus a couple of, um, I did a couple of uh, my tunings as well, but yeah. I, in, in, the, in the big scheme of things, it was, it was you guys. Okay, yeah. you, you pretty much answered my question that I wanted to ask you like later on, but okay, we, yeah. can, we can nitpick it a little yeah, bit we more. Can, we, we, can, we can delve into it more afterwards. Yeah, okay, so conditions, mediocre, but better than what? kind of was expected yeah. especially like the pipe one as well so what, I, what I like about that um, with the sunset is you have to be more on the strategy part um, you have to really follow I don't think you can just turn up half an hour before and, uh, and, and, and think you can you know sit on the right spot because th there's so much happening within an hour's time going you know and uh, exactly. and you have to be more on your you know pipe is you know you know where, where you have to sift from the pipe yeah you know but but there it's 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 the inside and you saw all the the big numbers that were scored underneath everybody else's priority on the inside mm. you know so that, that that's what i like is interesting you know people have to react you know act and react yeah so, I, i heard uh there was uh I think it was, uh, uh, what's his name, O'Brien, the young Aussie. Liam, Liam yeah. O'Brien, Lobby. Mm. So I, I, I heard him saying that uh, that sunset is like, it's like it's like you're surfing a 20-foot wave that's 10 foot or 8 mm. foot. Mm. And I thought that was, that was <laughs> a, an amazing description because he says it's like you get all these lumps and bumps. You're like you're riding a big wave in the middle, like out yeah. at sea. But... Uh, But it's like a big wave condensed into a small, a smaller <laughs> wave. So the 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 way they attack that wave and the way they surf, it, it's yeah, like you notice some guys, even their equipment. There was a huge, there was a huge diversity between mm. short boards and step ups, and actually, mm. I remember seeing the, in particular the uh, the heat where Steph lost against uh, Tyler. Yeah, her her board just looked so big. Mm. Did you mm. notice how she mm. just like she was, and then when she came in, she was like going. Yeah, like typically, you know, I was caught between either thinking that uh, it w it was going to be easier to pick up the waves with the longer board, which guarantees you, you know, like uh, entry into the wave. But once you're up, Tyler went shorter. And as the waves in the heat kind of like condensed a little bit and got a little bit smaller, it just, it, it advantage mm. Tyler actually because she chose the right equipment mm. so you know all those things that play into your mind just like when you're doing your picks mm. <laughs> in mm. real life those uh all those little things like fins which fins am i going to use what size <laughs> board step up am i going to go big or small someone has is out there on a on a six foot six which is quite a big board for there but on the beach they've got a six one waiting mm. as a as a backup board yeah. so that like They don't even know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was exactly. like, it's kind of exactly. like there was so many things where it was just choice of equipment or choice of where to sit, mm. you know. And uh, you know what else I thought was f fucking whack? If you have a look at the elimination round, if mm. you have a quick mm. look at that, look at the guys in the elimination round, right? You've mm. got Jack Robbo, okay, who went on to do great things. Mm. Matty McGillaray, who mm. went on to do great things. Mm. Nat Young, who went on to do great things. Zeke Lau. Who went on to do nothing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you he, he did a little bit. Ian Gentile, he he made it through a round. But can, and Leo, but can you see that? Usually we uh, come on. We we all throw the 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 picks in while the elimination rounds taking place to give you the latest. Mm. Tip, mm. You know, on on maybe conditions or whatever, but. You usually look at the elimination round and go, "All right, I'm not picking anyone there." <laughs> yeah. And if you did this, this contest, you would have missed. It. Like, who would have thought? I mean, Nat Young did so good. Maddie McGilvery was surfing like a like mm. mini John John. Mm. Like uh, Jack Robbo, incredible. You know, Leo surfed good again. Mm. It was just like 
Yeah, I've been thinking to myself, when you go, I'm a statistics guy and I, I play with the odds. I, I don't always look for the for the wild card. Uh, sorry, for the for the wild cat that mm. kind of comes mm. in from the you know, from from the left field. But but I kind of think to myself as a statistics guy, like none of that adds up. So it was awesome. I think it's it's freaking sick that it was just a huge mix up of uh mm. you know and that that the cutoff it's only three events away. Yeah. I'm thinking guys like Connor, O'Leary, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Zeke now, he's yeah. in that position. Uh, Maxim Husano took 10 years to get here. Yeah. Almost gone already. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, I just think, fuck, it's not like, it's, it, see, right. it doesn't yeah. feel like to me they get a good enough go. Nah, you're, you're, um, it sounds like I'm in the back room. Oh, I don't yeah. know if that's me. Am I, am I messing with it? Come there back, go. Scotty. Come back. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm back in the studio. Yeah. Thanks, Eva. I fucked up the yeah, mixing. Nah, um, sorry. I've lost a bit of strain of thought. Yeah, and I was just going to say, you've ciphered through everything in, in, in the last five minutes. You've nailed each hammer on the head there. Like, right. How, what about Z- what do you think of Zeke's thing? That was, I thought it was great. Like, I love drama. I thought that was hilarious. Yep. And, like, you kind of have your personal preferences as surfers, who they are, how they act. Everyone loves John John because he's so uh, humble. He's mm. so like down to earth. He's really Chill. calm. You know, Zeke, a lot of people, you can easily think he's a bit of a douche because of how he acts in certain manners of different places in the world when he's in the water and yeah. what he says and stuff. And he's got a bit of that Hawaiian macho, you know, and uh, I think a lot of people love seeing that. I think, like, I, I just think it's great. Drama, regardless. Like, Sammy Pupo dropped in on Jack Robinson in the middle of his heat. Yeah, I know, because I had Sammy, yeah. and I wanted to kill him. <laughs> yeah. and I was thinking, like, <laughs> if there was Sammy. any other way, I could just, like, yeah. So, no, like, really unfortunate for Zeke, and now he's in a really shit position, and because, it's, like, he's Hawaiian, so those two events that he just surfed now, like, they're, he should have easily made quarters semis um, possibly in both of those it's time to shine basically yeah. yeah and he just went through the whole CS so like I feel for him like I love the drama as a spectator but uh, yeah like per, like, I, yeah it's got to be yeah. hard for him but maybe it's, a, it's, 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 it's of course it's mind game you know so yeah of course you think oh Zeke you know from Hawaii first ev- two events in Hawaii there's going to be a lot of pressure you know and uh and maybe maybe his his uh, his um, behavior is uh, is based also on the uh, you know picking up the torch from uh, from some some former what do we, who, who do we call it? Sunny Sunny Garcia Sunny Garcia you know so uh, so like you, you know how it is a, it's a tight community up there and uh, there's a lot of tradition and stuff and the old uh, we we need to have one out there that uh, tells them that the North Shore is still packs a bit of muscle be, you know needs to be one hawaiian left with the black shorts yeah yeah, 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 yeah. but you know what i mean you know yeah, totally z comes from that old school mentality thinking like a little yeah. bit more like our era not the era under us you yeah. know so he's kind of like he's drawing all these like he he's probably as he was a kid growing up he was probably you know johnny boy gomes uh sonny garcia you mm. know even uh even uh, Seth and Josh's dad, like Tony Menez, he was a bad. He was a badass back in the day. You know, those guys were like, if you dropped in or you if got you, Carl Alexander, and all oh, these boys you up just there, get you know? karate chopped so hard. <laughs> and and Zeke comes from that. He draws his strength from that hard Hawaiian tradition. I think. Yeah. But I just thought to myself, Zeke was winning the heat, mm. right? Yeah. The only thing he would have like he didn't. He got to the point where uh, he didn't have to do anything. I don't know whether. Him and Leo had a little like side bet going, or whether you know he was thinking <laughs> maybe I can. It would just felt to me like it was just like I don't need to do this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna strong arm you anyway, Rio, because you're a you're a, you're a rookie this year, and I want to show you what it's like to be surfing with the big boys. And then uh, he dropped in and realized he'd fucked up, and I was mm. just thinking. Suck shit, Zeke. That's what you get. <laughs> it's like karma doing a full loop. Uh, Look, I, I love the hype as well. I love all that shit. I think it's yeah, awesome yeah. when you know when we get someone who's like, you know, it's like you get the choice to uh, yeah, you to, don't you to don't shoot have a, someone and get away with it. Who you, do you don't pick? have a personal yeah. attachment to him, and like I actually favor all this macho bravado crap, and like I don't mind it. I like a bit of testosterone. Like it makes it can make a a slow, crappy heat way more exciting. 
yeah. you know like even when he was paddling circles around with john john and stuff last year you know like i th- i think that shit's awesome mm, like yeah. get in his face like put people under pressure and see how fired up they get as well yeah. but uh nah it yeah it's it really does suck for zeke as as an individual surfer he's put himself in a really tough spot and i don't know if it's do you think he checked his watch do you think he like knew like he he must have obviously not but because his, his goes, apple watch his <laughs> What are you doing? You're doing some pineapple free, apple watch free marketing right here. <laughs> no, well that's that was the idea with the, all the, the Apple joining forces is that they'd get the, all those calls instantly. So it, I kind of feel like it's actually you know we saw Leonardo on the first contest like going he couldn't even his watch didn't even work did it but but you know what the the the, the, the Zeke thing came down to a shitty call by a priority judge who basically. You know, when Zeke paddled for that wave, it took him a minute before he actually changed the the flag to say that it was the priority flag. So in that time, Zeke had probably looked up and saw that he had the green light to take off on the next wave. In the meantime, he was probably paddling for it, and then the priority judge has changed, updated the call. Yeah. So, I mean, like, it wasn't a perfect scenario for Zeke. Like, he was a little bit kind of – if he would have seen that he didn't have priority, of course he wouldn't have taken off. Mm. But, I mean nah. – it was the fact that he didn't even need to catch that wave. He was still getting through the heat. Worst thing that could happen mm. was Rio did a like an aerial five aerials yeah, on that wave. Yeah, he still needed a big and, score and anyway. Yeah, so it was, he wasn't going to get the score. No, nah, so, and so, he would ended up second anyway. So it's like it, it was just yeah. like you know. Oh. Well, you hear you hear you're listening, Zeke. You've you've learned your lesson now. <laughs> we were it, talking about Zeke's it. Zeke's a regular listener, of course. <laughs> we'll give you a call later, right, Zeke. It's, it's happened after. now. <laughs> Shame. Done and dusted. On with the next one. Yeah. Go down, you Zeke. Ladies. Oh, I did not expect Molly Picklem to come out and win that. I will put Tim did. Wasn't it Tim? Tim who? Yeah, Tim, yeah, Tim called. Tim Molly. called it. Did I mean, he? Yeah, yeah. I, I, think, cut, I think it was Tim. No, I called Molly. Oh, it was you? Yeah, yeah. yeah one of it? you guys, yeah. No, nah, hmm. I did I did not see that coming. No, no way. Well, I, I don't was, think many people did anyway, huh? Nah. I was like Well, I did. Oh, you did, yeah. <laughs> well, I ha- I had it on my team, but still, like I didn't I didn't see her uh, getting that far, like especially when uh, she was getting uh, up against like Sally Fitz. Sorry, it wasn't Sally Fitz. What am I talking about now? Um, yeah, she had some she like Brisa Hennessy. Sorry, that mm, was that was Brisa. the one I thought. Okay, she's she's done and dusted here. But nah, that was that was by the skin of her teeth as well. So yeah. yeah. But she did win belts last year, didn't she? No, well, she no, actually, no. She won. She won that uh, Vans pipe contest. So That's actually, true. you know That's what? True. In the last three or four months, I think she's she's got three results. Mm-hmm. So this is her third result. Yeah, she's on. Her own. So she's yeah, she's on her own. I mean, when it talks streak. about like informed surfers, she's got to be the pick when it comes to the girls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. The. Yeah, I I kind of feel. Uh, you know, we spoke a little bit last week about, you know, those what, those four blocks when we're looking at the bracket group, mm. you know, the top, mm. level, bottom left and yeah. So it was a it was a case of as well breaking up, you know, we had Steph going straight up against Tyler from yeah. the start. So that was like a head fuck because you're thinking both of those guys are in form. Um, but uh, Steph being TSC, I kind of just thought, you know, like to have someone like Steph in TSC against those other TSC girls, I thought that was like a uh, that was like a sure thing. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, I had uh, Carissa kind of thinking maybe Carissa was. Uh, I don't know why it is. It's like if you can't choose someone, you always seem to go back to this John Carissa. John or Carissa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I had the same. Well, you, you were right. Seventy nine percent of people chose uh, chose Carissa. Yeah, so she, she was one of the. I, I have a I have a big yeah. uh, pickle with this thing. Yeah, I, but this like, is fantasy related though. But I pickle. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, I'm just going to mention it because it's not not if. If you're going to pick number one, it has to be Carissa. It can't be not Carissa. Well, the, we might as well dig into this. You didn't and miss you, the top three in the world. Go on, then. It's break, boring as fuck. I mean... Uh, break, it, break it down for us, then. Because, okay, with Carissa, the thing is, if you if you pick Carissa, you do as everyone else. Yeah. Thus, it's not a differentiator. And if you don't pick Carissa, she will likely get a good result and likely most people will have her and you will get fucked up. So you have to pick her. It's I don't like it at all. Yeah, but the point being is, and that is 
I think that it's is the same the, thing with Jack but, Robinson. But I, that, yeah. that's a beautiful. If you look at it the other way, that is a beautiful part of it because that is a predictable point. The points that you can actually already lock in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. as you said, ninety-seven percent. If I'm getting the points, all right. If not, nobody else will get them either. Yeah, but you, know? you, you lose them. Yeah. But yeah. then it's the it's the it's the choice of the other guys yeah that's, that's that's where the points are that's where you actually have to sit down and really look a bit at the roster and look at oh. at the score points yeah, they true. do you that's know true, that's true. because th- it's a difference if you choose miguel pupu or the, the other pupu you know but, but, but i mean they both eat the pupu <laughs> they only the pupu <laughs> okay we can delve into that because uh, because i thought yeah. the the women's side was kind of boring yeah because uh stephanie was a given on this tier c Carissa, um, for most people, is a given on tier A. Brisa won Sunset last year, so she, she was kind of a given on tier B. And then you're left with, with uh, the last... Like Molly or Betty Lou. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. But I mean, it's... it's uh, yeah. But you know what? It, it is, it's actually... I, I, I look at exactly the same as you, Eva. I just kind of like basically go... You, you're basically just kind of thinking uh, the first thing that comes into your head when you're put, when you're matching one surfer against another, you know what I mean. Especially mm. like in that TC. So it was like Steph. You know I she's would, world I champ. Would. It's hard to not to pick her when she's world champ. Yeah, and you, you, know? were, you were waxing lyrical about her on that type of wave as well. Yeah. 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 Last time around. But uh, to be honest, once they got in the water, you know, I really saw. Um, yeah, I actually uh, Tyler. I feel looked like she was very comfortable the whole time yeah. in control until she came up against Molly. So, mm. uh, you know, you kind of felt like there was definitely guys that had 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 momentum from pipe and they were like, they were in form, you know. Carissa, mm. I felt, that's why I didn't, she never really felt like she was just ripping the bag out of it. No. You know, I kind of feel like the for the girls, it was all Molly, uh, Gabriella as well, surfed really mm. well. You know what I mean? Gabrielle Bryant. Uh, but this is the thing with Carissa. She's always like uh, vanilla ice cream. She's she's good, but she's not but then again, extreme. Yeah? Again, to the picking, you know, okay, somebody has a day off. That's all you need, you know. Yeah. Uh, you, you're sitting here expecting, okay, the person that we're picking is going to be 100 fucking percent, you know. Yeah. You don't know. You, you, it's, it's a day in the office, you know. You have a shitty day and, and you're totally out of the rhythm. Ethan you. Ethan Ewing. Yeah. The guy looked like he was money from yeah. start mm. to every heat up until that one he had yeah. against uh, he had Griffin. The, he had a we fucking shocker that. with Griffin. Yeah, I was just thinking to myself, is this the same guy? Yeah. Like really? Like <laughs> his board looked like it only had one like <laughs> had one fin. <laughs> and and he he went from this super smooth groove that he had to his turns all of a sudden he get halfway through a turn and mm. it would be like uh his rail would catch something weird would happen. I don't know. It was like someone had just got the voodoo doll and just <laughs> pierced him hard. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh uh, and it was probably Gryffindorf, yeah. Color Pinto. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was. We could move back into the fancy layer, I think. But uh, how about Chanka? Yeah, yeah, he looked fucking money as well. I thought. Yeah, he, yeah. he was Stuff insane. insane. He was so insane. I mean, yeah, we can. <laughs> we, we talk about it, yeah. we talk about the yeah. guys and the girls. We mix them up together, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But but for sure, like Jal Chanka. I mean, looking at him from, he must be. Uh, at the moment, most improved surfer. Like, he's got to be. You like him and Jack have, have just bound, leaps and bounds, you know what I mean? Like, when it comes to from last year, we all knew it was going to happen. We all knew that, like, that Jal had the, had the, you know, he had the, he had the, 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 he surfed like, like an animal. He was surfed like a pro and he deserved to be there. So it just kind of like, I don't know. As much as you want to hate the new system and WSL and all that kind of thing, the fact that he dropped off and managed to get back the year after, mm. he deserves to be there. Obviously, you know, and uh, that's yeah. It really he's taking advantage of that big time. I was I was watching him in the quarterfinals against uh, yeah. I can't pronounce the South African Mc, McGillery. 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 <laughs> McGillery. He lo- he looked like a fucking bomb, and that he had that extra extra. Uh, like the extra something, yeah. He had, he had he had five gears, yeah, and uh, it looked like Maddie was stuck in reverse. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. He, but, and he, when was, he takes off his board, just just like I'm thinking to myself, has someone sped up the film? Like it honestly <laughs> looks like that. Mm. He's he's these boards look amazing. At, at that point of time, I thought this guy he's going to go all the way. I thought, yeah. like, but um, yeah. And uh, and he took out uh, Italo Ferreira in the round of sixteen as well. It's like he's he's a bit of a beast, eh? 
Yeah. <laughs> He uh, he came up against Michael Rodriguez, who actually I thought had those opportunities for for maybe him. Obvi- you know, before when you were talking about like yeah. these guys, they all know whether they're uh, their strong points. So of course they map out the rest of the year which connoisseurs kind of will will favour their style, and mm. you know what I mean. They're the ones that they probably are such for. You know what I mean. Those mm. those connoisseurs, kind of, but um, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, look what happened to Zeke. Hawaii was supposed to be his, his strong leg, and we all thought he would have got <laughs> at least through one or two rounds. He, you know, he got like he got squashed both feet. I've got a feeling Gabriel that- as well. He didn't really do mm. much. You know what I mean? Mm. He got stuck in some hard heats. Yeah, so and I'm actually more scared of. Um, I'm probably more chance of hurting myself in in weaker sort of beach break waves than, than what I would be surfing those slabs and stuff. So it's the safe option. The ice box, the <laughs> yeah. safe option. Yeah. That should be the name of the movie. <laughs> yeah. We're we going to start promoting yeah. slab surfing as a safe way to start. <laughs> we're going to do yeah. a top 10, are we? I think we have to uh, have to go and have a little look what what we did and how we did and uh, who did what, with whom and where. And how and so, why? And, why, <laughs> and why? 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 And why? How the fuck? <laughs> why, why and why? And Especially why. that top first guy. Like, how did that happen? Yeah. What? So um, it was quite interesting. Um, the day, the final day, I was. I didn't watch maybe just a couple of heats, and then I went to bed. I had to get up early. Mm. <clears throat> and uh, when I went to bed, I was on sixty third place. Oof. In the Revolt Stars League? In the Revolt Stars yeah. League, yeah. Not in the world. So, <laughs> sorry, Eva. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. I already took so, world. So yeah. sorry. Eva, <laughs> if you're not in the top 10, you're not part of the I, equation. I, yeah. I didn't know who we had uh, sitting here. Yes. Yeah. Now, in, in the in the local uh, little little baby league that we are all playing in, which you, not the w- which you won, world, by the way. Congratulations. Congratulations. Just let me jo- enjoy this one for the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. number one. Yee. Yee. You can pick. Uh, you can pick a gift out of the basket here from our yeah, yeah. Uh, sponsors. Yeah, make sure there's nothing in the I'm basket. Gonna by the, the way, I'm <laughs> going to do the local uh, sticker for Unstar. I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's yeah. nice. I like that. <laughs> Interestingly <laughs> enough, uh, next next to Ivar on the list and in the studio, number two, yeah, Jamin. Whoa, Yee-hoo. Mr. Number Two. Hey, I'm number one and number two. No, we, we're talking about the overall. No, we're we're, we're, we're going to go through the event. You did, oh, is this the overall? Well, that's, you need to go buy event. We'll go. We'll do the event. Is this the overall? Yeah. Actually, by I'm the way, sorry. by the way, did you guys fall for that? I'm like mid contest. I wonder. I nah. want to see how everyone's going. And I kept looking at overall, thinking, "Yeah, I'm doing okay." And then I realized by event. I'm like 55th place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. No, I'm going I, back to I, overall. I, I, seriously, <laughs> I thought I came eighth. <laughs> really? this, yeah, is the fir- this is the first time I look at my event. So Pe- Pe- had to thir- put on his glasses, then this is fixes I'm, everything. I'm 38. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, you're gonna listen. This is amazing. I went to bed at 68, and you won't believe it. I woke up at 38. <laughs> <laughs> no, because then I woke up in the morning. I looked at it. And I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm number eight. eight. Not yeah. bad. Well, Not you bad. know, what? you know what? I had uh, I'd picked uh, Philip Toledo accidentally no i'm just kidding uh as my power surfer and he was he was in that bottom right quarter right so what happened is he was always the last guy to update the points mm. so i i went to bed thinking 55 place geez i hope i uh i hope i be pair that's all I can <laughs> <laughs> and uh I'm to my surprise I'm honored, my when i woke up like if you look philip toledo like double points is 163 points yeah. right yeah. Yeah. and no, definitely. that's all I, <laughs> my, well, like, my I team just, I, uh, that's all I had I, like, ended, I, I ended up at 50 53rd so I, I can't say too much uh, 53rd yeah 50 53rd <laughs> like, it's, it's an age. improvement from round one isn't it no it's, it's going, worse oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's going downhill <laughs> That. I need to rub some of that ginger magic you have over there yeah, you know, yeah, on my yeah, computer yeah, over yeah. here. I got plenty to share, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. There's nah, plenty of ginger magic. So we're not gonna take I'm not gonna give any <laughs> advice out for the for the next 15, 20 minutes. Ah shit balls. Okay, then I gotta start this list again. Let's well, go, let's do it, top ten start at the bottom, uh, Per. Like, I'm starting, starting at the bottom. Uh, 
Yeah, there, there's only you in the top ten, fucker. <laughs> so Shark is on number ten. Yeah, I think that's. We could start I, at twelve I, I, if I you want. I I'm, and and here <laughs> is the proof, my friends, why this is an upside down world event. Yeah, because on number nine, Plingy. <laughs> Klingy and Eva are in the top 10. Yeah, you know, there, no is, sense, there yeah. is a skip in the matrix somewhere <laughs> and something went wrong in the programming of this fucking game. Definitely. <laughs> there is, the, the, the top 10 list is the proof that we live in the matrix. I need an email so I can send a complaint. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Someone actually hit, uh, you know, it's like from smallest to largest. They went from largest to smallest by accident. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's <laughs> they carry on. Get, okay. Get uh, Schilling Joe is number eight. Uh, I don't know who that is. No, uh, but he's been, he's been around since the beginning. Uh, yeah. all, uh, since the beginning of the last season so Marcus yeah. K number 7 Marcus Carlson I think uh, mm -hmm. Saltstein crew yeah yeah shut up Jill uh, Ferreira up in the north yeah number 6 Voxgongen is number 5 yeah they were pretty on it last season as well mm -hmm. yeah Mr. Steal Your Wave new name I think yeah, that yeah, could be anyone, really. Seems like a new... Seems <laughs> like a new that probably, could be anyone Brazilian. It's, it's probably... It's, <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> Uh, I, I know, I know, <laughs> I know a little group of people that could have that sticker on their car. <laughs> Number three, back again, the side boobs. Yeah, well done, yeah, Elena. Yeah, no, well done, Elena. Elena. It's good to see she's finally back. Yeah, I love those side boobs. And uh, <laughs> number two, Sofia Lash. No idea. I don't know. Lars? Is there a Lars? Do we know any Lars? So for Lars? Um, is the guy, there's a guy in Hodovik, Lars? Lars something? Mate, there's Lars everywhere. Yeah. We live in Norway. I know a Lars from Denmark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, number one, it's the dictator, yeah, and the, the king. Thank you, thank you. Kimi Leber. And um, I, would, I would like you to... I just drop my shit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> could you read uh, the point uh, difference between one, number one and number two? <laughs> pear, pear would you lick the shit off the bottom of my shoe i think it's about time to let the air out of that fucking red hot balloon over there and uh skip over to the overall <laughs> really quick you're never gonna see such a huge winning advantage I'm, see, I'm, come uh, on, for uh, one we, pair seriously he was he had he was actually on top of the world he was like the only guy that had yeah. 10, 10 left in his team. All right. For I really thought that was a mistake. For everybody, for everybody to be up there, you have to have 609 points and mm. not like Surfer Lars, you loser, <laughs> on second space with 456 yeah, points. Measly 456 points. Yeah. yeah. So there's a good 150 <laughs> points in between. And that is, as Jamin said earlier, the double on Philip Toledo. These are your 160 points. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, buddy. If you would have just picked, if you would have taken my advice and just picked Felipe. Yeah. Actually, no, you took my advice and picked Jack. Yeah, I yeah. actually did it. Well, yeah, I took I your advice and came third in the world. So <laughs> 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 I don't think you need to listen to any of us. But overall, your ranking, you're 46th in the world. Yeah, because I had a measly first round. It's like I was your, in your uh, bottom tier somewhere, Scott, I think. Please, yeah. please. Peasant. The wounds yeah, thing. You're, you're, yeah. you're in our peasant yeah. realm. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry about my glee, but I'm just going to enjoy it for this time around because yeah, it, it's never going to happen again. Huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> if, it if it happens again, Eva, nobody's ever going to. I, I actually put some, I put some thought into this one. It's, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty serious it's, about it. It's, and then you start doing awesome. it for every event, and then it just goes downhill from there. Trust me. Yeah. So if I start thinking, this is the this is the end of everything. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But um, I'm going to say one thing. Uh, just we, uh, you guys, you three guys, and uh, Tim Matley was here last time around, mm. and uh, you, you, bought, uh, Tim was a fucking amazing guest, wasn't he? Uh, he needs to come back. Huh? Yeah, Tim's Shout great. Tim. Maybe yeah. we make him a stand-in for you when you're yeah. gone on the, on your <laughs> to, to Spain, yeah. Yes, to Spain. Let's uh, you take your world championship yeah, tour down to Spain. Tim, Tim you should get exactly. back. <laughs> but uh, uh, we had a we had a internal chat going on on Instagram. And I, when I think it was Tim who started speaking about the poopo with you, Jamin. Yeah, you, you were talking the poop, and I had a look at uh, at uh, the roster and uh, what do you call it, like the tree, yeah, the bracket, the, the, the bracket. bracket. I, I said, at that point of time, I said, "This is this is mine, guys." Hey, really? Yeah, you can scroll back and see in the chat. I yeah. was fucking dead. Serious. This is going to be my turn, my yeah, time dude. to shine, and uh, it fucking uh, happened. Uh, yeah, dude. it was. It, it was. It was awesome. I have no idea how. You know, like like I said, from that from that uh, from that elimination round, mm. like 
are you guys with me? Do you kind of shy away from those guys that actually because it was because what happened was previously at Pipe, uh, Leo was in an elimination round as well. He mm. went on to get second. Mm. You know, so I'm just kind of saying like you got to open your eyes a little bit to. I don't shy away from it. You had Leo, because, and I, and I told you because in that heat was three winners. So whoever went into the elimination round in my book was somebody had to lose in that heat in the in the, in the opening round. And there are three fucking solid winners there, you know. So I look at the points of the guys exactly, in, yeah. in the elimination round. If you served 17 points in your opening round and you lost, that means you will be able to yeah, get out you of you that fucking something, yeah. But if you ended up with two points and uh, the other two had 18 points each, well, you screwed <laughs> in my book. No, that's a really good point. That is, uh, I don't know. I, I when I look at the elimination round now, there wasn't actually that many people that went super deep, apart from like Nat Young, Maddie, and Jack. Mm. And everyone else kind of made it like a round or two, but that was it. So um, I don't know. I don't think I shy away too much, but I've started, especially this season, where the like the WSL have been much better at releasing that bracket stage. Mm. I haven't actually like been too preoccupied to get my team out there until pretty much the elimination round. And if it's a bad time zone and it's going to be like three in the morning, then you've got to put something in, yeah. put something in. Yeah. But up, this was in seven o'clock in Norway time. Basically. Yeah, so it's seven, seven thirty. Yeah. But it can also like that. Cause as soon as they finish an elimination round and you, if you're not awake that's, and then they say that's that, two yeah, in the morning. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. So it's, you obviously, you got to put a team in. What, I, 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 I had a bad feeling about John John. So I took out John John. That uh, was really, really smart. And I switched him with Philippe because I had a good feeling about Philippe. So, yeah. That was well done. That All was right. a smart move. And uh, you know what? Uh, shout outs to Filippo for the win and uh, Colopinos for coming in second. Yeah. And that final could have gone either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So, uh, shout outs to Griff. It's good to see he's back again. I would have been. I had him. You I did? Think I yep. would have been number one in the world if Griff had the one, I think. Yeah, actually, or if you would have picked Felipe for your power server, yeah. that's where you would have been 60 points ahead of everyone else <laughs> in the world. In but the world. It's the same that applied for Carissa. You, you have to, Robinson. Yeah. yeah. I had Griff, I had Chow. Yeah, so. like I noticed, yeah, like every, you know, everyone had a, uh, uh, well, you know, besides this, this time's, this, this contest, uh, last time we I picked Griff for the one point, and I thought, I'll never do that again. How could I pick someone against one point? And then this time, Sammy gave me a 0. 0.85. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I'm kind of looking through my team and I'm thinking my fantasy team and I'm thinking like all I needed to pick was just someone else and even just got even 10 points. Mm. Mm. And, then, and then you look where you're kind of sitting on the ranking and you count 10 points and you go, on, that's like 20 places. Yeah. <laughs> it's like every, yeah. you know, if you've got every little drop of point that you get, it's kind of like you can be 20 or 30 points up from some, from, yeah, <clears> from the group. You know? our, our whole uh, Dev All Stars, uh, like WSL Fantasy League, it's, it's actually, apart from Eva now, that's just obviously fucking taken off. Everyone else is pretty quite like they're quite close yeah and i'm mm. gonna drop anyway so. yeah so that means we have to do it better in the next event which is which is we're going na, na, over na, to na, na. the old <laughs> land back na, to europe na, we're going to na, portugal na, na. No, but i wasn't finished <laughs> okay, <sorry. laughs> we'll our guest in this studio of yours <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna so, tell you a story guys <laughs> shut up no 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 this is this is gonna this is good this, uh, is, good, I promise. this is another how i pick so, my team story yeah, so i'm really good at picking my team <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I am um, I do my I I put my kid up to bed at seven seven thirty, mm -hmm. and after that I'm so fucking tired I I just fall in and out of uh, Dreamland while watching the the TV the yeah on the mo mobile phone, and I woke up around twelve o'clock or something on Finals Day and I was fucking number one in the world before the finals. Wow, yeah. And it hey, didn't and happen. And you, you, can add, you can edit that out uh, <laughs> afterwards. Okay? Can I just remind Thanks, everyone? Man. I'm a terrible winner. I'm, I'm <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I won it all. Oh, yeah, I'm dancing. Yeah. I wanted to kill <laughs> as a, as my a computer every time that song came on. I would just look. I would look so sternly at the computer; it would know what to do. <laughs> I swear to God, 
I just WSL, have- come on. You guys. They're uh, terrible. Are you, that fucking shit fucking <laughs> like music. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <bad> enough. <laughs> I'm serious. It's like sitting in traffic for him. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, my you know, God. You know already grinds my gears. <laughs> it did. <laughs> Grinding. Why? I, I think actually I really have to do what Tim recommended last time. He was like, there's actually a live sending on YouTube. Yeah. And, and uh, in between. I decided actually to, to use money and get the channel that shows the commercials and watch it with the commercials. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's, 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 that's a radical move. That's my work. That's my work around. <laughs> but hey, come on, WSO. There's, there's smart, some smart people there, right? So I'm kind of uh, thinking to myself, maybe they don't want us to watch the. Maybe they're doing everything to kind of like, uh, you know, maybe it's kind of they're, they're Reva- kind of thinking reverse, reverse psychology where they're just saying, well, we'll get everyone to watch the the, the broadcast on the WSL uh, site. But you know what we'll do? We'll just use some fourth graders fucking music project <laughs> as a intro as a like segue in and out and we'll play it like every five seconds for the rest of your life <laughs> seriously like it was why not a bit of fucking funk or something you know that <laughs> sorry is he still talking about this <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. one two okay. three four <laughs> And oh, release, oh, Jim. Release. <laughs> they should, we should do it like a, a, a mid, like a mid commercial. It should, it should be like a, it should be a Wim Hof every commercial. Just breathe, breathe in. Eva, could yeah. you do me a favor and cut in a little commercial break where you do that <laughs> that sound and play it a couple of times? Breathe in. In our, in our podcast. One, two, three, four. Anyway, so we're going to Europe. We're going to Peniche, Um and uh, I have a good feeling about it. Mm. Um, Finally, back to our side uh, and uh, in, the, in the correct time zone, minus one. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. So, Actually, uh, no, starting the 8th of March. That'll be during the day. So, for, for those people at even in an office job, that's fantastic. That's awesome. But Just have it up on your phone, don't you? So. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but I mean, if, it's not good if you jump in the ocean as well, yeah? Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but there's only the, Wait. what is it? The elimination round you've got to focus on, and after that, you're all good to go. Yeah. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, hard what, to tell. Uh, what 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 are we feeling? Who uh, what's what's going to happen flying uh, into I the think new it's, time zone? It's a bit early with. I've got getting I've, a thing with the forecast, but you can have like you kind of. I think this is a picks. Medina's breakout yeah. event. I, I think all the Brazos are going to go nuts. Medina's breakout event. Yeah, I um I actually have a good feeling about Ziklau. Ooh. I think um I think. Well, first of all, he knows he has the, the knife on his throat. Yeah, that's a good yeah, point. Yeah. That's yeah. one thing. Uh, Pinish is a bit like pipe. Yeah, it's a uh, if it's if, if if we had in good conditions, it's it's a difficult wave to to handle, and you have to be a pipe person to to really get. A good good pipe surfer, I think. You're so right. uh, so you can some and, lean out and maybe. I think not not having the beach full of black. Shorts and uh, and and you know your home crowd pressure. You know the the pressure is not there for him. I think that's that's going to be a good combination for him. So look for the the guys under pressure. I mean like, um, under the knife for the yeah cutouts. And yeah, and uh, what 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 would be suitable? You know that kind of resembles home a little bit. You know, and the thing is, it rem- res- like that that wave. Seriously, it's got power. So it's got a lot of power. Yeah, it's mesh, and I mean, many. but at the same time, it. It's got power, but it's a grovel. It can be a grovel. Mm. And, I mean, you know, like they've had some pretty on and off type contests as far as conditions wise. There's usually a mm. full, like in, there's usually a full range of conditions, the whole, like the whole contest. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, it's going to be so tricky without seeing the conditions yet. Exactly. But like it could go, like if it's knee to chest high grovel, like it could be anyone's game if it's. Double overhead. I see. It's again. It's it a Toledo, uh, Colapinto, Jalchanka, Italo. It, 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 yeah, we can go through. But yeah. it, it, it does have that. The air, It has the aerial option. I think yeah. guys can go to the air there. There's. It's not just a tube, and it's not just a left. It can be a right as well. Mm. You know, throughout the years, I remember standouts. Owen Wright. Mm. He's won it. Kai Otten won it one year. Um, I think uh, Toledo's won it a few times. Remember he, him and Italo in the mm-hmm. final? Italo's won. Like, it's there's, these guys, most of these guys are pretty, uh, they're, they're good all round. Versatile. Versatile surfers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you gotta, it, it's, a, it's a place that they can offer from two foot left, but <clears throat> barreling lefts to 10 foot 
uh, right-handed roll-ins. You yeah. know what I mean? Like there's, it's yeah. such a diverse. Kind and that of can conditions. all happen within the contest. Yeah. Window. So there's no. I don't really feel there's a huge. Uh, you know, I don't really feel like there is a huge uh, advantage by many guys because you know the level these days is up, and if you get mm. the right waves in your heat, you're going to perform. Yeah. yeah, I think it's <clears throat> as you said with, with with the level being kind of that close to each other. There is the other factors that come in as well. You know, the Port the Portuguese, you know, with the same language as the Brazas, they're going to have a lot of support on the beach. You know, and they you know, feel they feel like exactly like you say they feel like they're at home there mm. as well. Yeah, That's, and Filippo had his family, by the way, on the beach the whole time, and that. That was the reason why I actually, because I, when I was looking, I kind of saw him playing with his kids, and I thought he must be in a good frame of mind. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And that, on its own, was enough to kind of just think to myself, you know, he's in a good place mentally. Mm. Yeah. But you know, I mean, he could have lost, and I could have been thinking I was completely wrong. But <laughs> <laughs> the fact was, it kind of he he embraced that whole family feeling and that spirit. And I kind of think like those are little tweaks that you got to look at. You got to look at like when you see those. You know, first limit of that first round, for example, mm. you can take little snippets away. You know what I mean? You can you can kind of say to yourself, "This guy looks so good," and then you you can also go, "Well, old mate's not surfing. His equipment doesn't look like he's really, you know, got his boards, got some good gear, got some good boards." So, yeah, you need to kind of like it's a bit of a Sherlock Holmes affair, and then you work out what you think is best, and you know you fucking stick your finger in the air and go, oh, "Well, yeah. I don't know. I'll just do that." <laughs> Chanka, uh, yeah. Chanka, would he be in the tier A? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should be. Yeah. yeah, he's in the top three now. So that's a problem. Yeah, I think it's not, it's not a problem. No, I mean it's it's not a problem, but <laughs> it's a problem for us picking. I think it's he, yeah. Well, you saw like in the first. That's what we talked about. As yeah. the contest changed between the first and second one, all the tiers kind of flips yeah. flipped ends. And like I said, it's not often you get to pick Medina in the and then have John John and be able to pick Jack and yeah to mm. pick uh, Toledo all in the same team. No. You can yeah. never do that. No. Yeah. So I was just saying it was like it was actually weird because it felt like you had the strongest team. And the, <laughs> you never had those three guys in the same team. So I was like thinking, I'm, un, I'm unbeatable. <laughs> But then you realize everyone else has, gets the same pick. So. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's just an endless cycle, isn't it? It it's is. It's a head fuck yeah. on head fuck. But uh, as we talked a little bit earlier about it, with the, uh, with the, yeah, the, the known factors that, you know, everybody's going to go for, you know, if they would put in a fifth girl, Yeah, I would love that. Yeah, that I think would make the picking more interesting yeah. and more versatile here. Yeah, it's it's okay with eight guys because you get to pick all these. You get so off, many off the, ones, you know, yeah, that can make so, it good. So many opportunities, you know. Yeah. But with only four four girls, you, it's, it's one too little. Yeah, yeah. it's all yeah, exactly. And, and those, it, you know, those three on top, and it, it's basically just roll the dice. Which one of those three are you going to pick? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So uh, we, we should we should uh, make a shout out to the WSL Fantasy. Yeah. Uh, we would like to have a fifth pick on the <laughs> girls' side. Thank yeah. you. Um, preferably to the next one. And no mm. shit music, Wes. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's maybe what's can, number yeah, one priority? And, shit music. Number two priority. And, and, uh, maybe yeah, we can and, send in a few forschlags. Maybe oh. we can come up with our own WSL. We, hey, we if anyone out there wants to send us their best uh, <laughs> segue <a> jingle. <laughs> jingle in and out, please feel free to send it to Kim Young, third in the world. <laughs> let's, let's just burn a CD for them and send it to them. <laughs> we could offer like a four schlag. Yeah. <laughs> this is what this is what we put on when you yeah. put your brainwash. <laughs> Shit, music on. <laughs> oh, I hate that music. Dun, dun, I really do. Conversations just reminded me of how much it was hurting my brain to listen to it. Yeah, we we feel you, and everybody out there. I don't think you really feel me there. <laughs> But um, okay, enough about self braggings and uh, being upset about the music. Is there anything else we, uh, we want to say about uh, Portugal? Yeah, we haven't talked stuff? about the women yet. Yeah, I was. Oh, we, we're talking about gale, guys and girls oh, all the I time. Was, so I was actually going to make a comment saying that I'm pretty excited to see Caitlin Simmons. I think that. Yeah. that I think she is going to be like this wave. She's it, money. Eh? Well, she's like got air game. Yeah. So I really would like to see her with that again. I think I was actually be... surprised that she did that well in uh, at sunset. Yeah, I did, and she only <laughs> just lost to Caroline Marks as well. Only just, yeah, yeah. skin yeah. of the teeth. Dude, so. like you're right, Scotty. She was. She's going to be 
she's going to be money, man. She's like 17 and she's I like know. ripping, bro. But I mean, it's, like it's it, when you interview her, it's like she's just walked out of a coffee shop in Amsterdam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that rookie yeah. interview? Oh, no, 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 she's, she's been like that. I, I remember she won uh, US Open, was it two years ago? Mm. And they go, oh, let's interview Caitlin Simmons. What do you think you have to say, Caitlin? And she's like, uh, that's like that's like such a what the fuck I'm doing huh? that's like such a Cali thing isn't it yeah like yeah. It's, for sure like, like, for sure it's a Cali well, thing it's like, for like, sure yeah, you know, thanks Pete Melody for, my inspiration. Sure. He's for sure I think she's got that that really good attitude like she's that mm. with it from her she gets she's got her mum and dad on the beach and you know like she's just she's, I don't know if this was just like a kind of a thing that I noticed but it felt like wherever Griff was sitting she was like really close She's like hovering off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why, but it was like every time when they, when they like were filming in the Red Bull uh, area or like, I don't know, in the total, but it just whenever Griff was sat there, it was like she was only a couple of meters away. And Did you she, hear it at first? Nah. They are. I have, like, I just kind of saw it. Like, I just thought it was. Love is in the air. I don't know. <laughs> Griff, watch out, mate. She's not 18 yet. You better be careful, mate. Gryffindor. Come on, mate. Nah, so uh, Caitlin Simmons, like, she looks like she's so young, potential, could be sick. But, like, Molly Picklin really surprised me, and she's, like, she rips. Like, so mm. I think that it could be quite exciting. But, yeah. I thought Tyler looked the bomb as well until she didn't look the bomb. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, you're right. So, but yeah. um, MDMA Molly pulled off the win. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, good honor. Uh, I, um, when I was in Portugal this fall, uh, there was a CT event on uh, Ribeira. Yeah. I think Leo won that one. You're correct, yeah. Is there, mm-hmm. But it's not the same way, but it's not. <laughs> no, no, but uh, you know what? It uh, Portugal. We we got to remember it is. A, it's not the warmest place. Mm. So no, that's no. you know that's one thing that could factor in a little bit, especially if guys have to surf a couple of times in the day and the waves are good, overlapping heaps. You know what I mean? The uh, the water temperature is is chilly in. It's fucking, they'll, they'll, it's be in cold, they'll be in they'll be in four threes. But when yeah, Evo yeah. goes down, he's there in his trunks. He's good to go. He doesn't need he doesn't <laughs> yeah. need any. Right, exactly. Red hot. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be ready. So I'm kind of thinking to myself, you know, if you're looking at your team, maybe think a little bit on guys. Like it's no problem for Jack Robinson, for example, because yeah, WA, WA is kind of coldish. Was similar, you know, yeah. temperatures. But, and uh, but but I kind of feel also like Cali surfers. Yeah, you know, like Nat Young and uh, North Cali. They were used to San yes. Francisco surfers. You know, actually, Nat Young could be a, a bit of a yeah. good pick for this contest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure, because he's on his forehand and he's a good bow rider. But uh, yeah. But speaking of Jack, how, how long is Jack going to keep on going, going? I mean, is he just going to keep on trucking for a whole season or is he going to yeah, fall yeah. off at some he's point? Be, he's, he's, I, I kind of think he's money. When you look at him, mm. he's he's been the, one of the most consistent so far. He just... It just I seems like it's clicked for him. It yeah. just seems like he... He just figured it out. Like, whether it's... Everyone's different, but like he seems... Awareness, eh? But he just seems to be more on... A spiritual level like so many people will think that's whack and stuff and i just think that when he he looks to me like he's got the same kind of momentum as griff yeah. like him and griff look like when they're sat in the corner and they're meditating and they're doing the thing they're doing all that visualization crap and like blocking noise out whereas like you kind of made a point toledo's on the beach with his kids every person kind of seems like they have their own different thing but whatever like jack is doing for himself it's really like and and Griffin as well. Griffin is actually a lot more, I feel like, verbal, and he kind of explains a lot in his Instagram posts and stuff why, or like how disappointed he is in his surf or what he wishes to accomplish, blah blah blah. And then like from one contest in pipe where he got that heat with a one or whatever to going all the way to the finals and just barely losing. Mm. Like he's he's like so inconsistent but so good at the same time so everyone has their little exactly things right. and, and remember he won it last year yeah Griff mm. won with that 10 that point massive remember that massive error. error yeah you know so I kind of feel like uh, yeah if you need some ideas on your team have a look at last year's event and check out who did well there and I think you'll get a good heads up on mm. who yeah. could be and definitely keep your eyes peeled on. on the conditions as well like not, it's a bit early to see it now but when it starts to, to pop up it'll uh Mm. Do you want to know another little trick? Go on then. Tell me another little trick, Jamin. Well, now that you can bet on surfing, mm. if you can get in and have a look to see Who the odds. what the odds are, what the odds are, it'll give you a little bit of an idea of you know if you're actually putting real money on this. Mm. Uh, those guys do their homework. Mm. Anyone who 
is willing to bet with their own money. <laughs> it does their homework. But There's I no finger in but the But I would have loved to have seen what the stats were for the last for the last one. I think Felipe in this contest was he was ten to one. Yeah. That would have been good money. Yeah. I think uh, they I said think on, think on was twenty one or something like that. Yeah, I think yeah, it's Jao was like twenty five to one or something yeah. ridiculous. But but I kind of feel like when you're struggling a bit, I just kind of think that you know that's a that's a good place to kind of graph your your mm. picks against. Come on, we all know it's not you know like shit happens in a heartbeat, and you know we're talking about waves and we're talking about count countdown times, and yeah. you know it's like it is what it is. But you know those little things kind of sometimes give you that little edge of hope yeah you know? for sure mm. yeah yeah nah anything else you got to say i was thinking about what do you uh, picks for portugal who's your boy and girl we can take a loop around the room who you're backing and why um without seeing the conditions pretty hard i'm gonna go simmers on the women and let's just go like not that anything that i say actually has any meaning these days but uh <laughs> I don't know. Let's chuck Toledo in there. He seems to be on a hot one. He, he'll be a bit at home there. It's probably a little bit colder than what he's used to, but he'll still shred it. He's won it before. Yeah. He's got experience. Yeah. I just like, they feel more at home speaking their native language well, that's and stuff the thing. Like that, they so. mightn't have the water temperature on the side, but they know everything that's happening around them because yeah, they understand exactly. Portuguese. I guess, uh, yeah. They all say it. They like over the years. It feels like a second home to them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You boys, mm. what are you saying? Well, I'll ask Eva first seeing yeah. as he's third in the world. Uh, I'm not going to be third in the world for a long time, but thank you. Yeah, you should uh, take him at the end because everything we say has no meaning <laughs> yeah. until he said something. Oh, and then he uses our tactics That's against correct. us. So yeah. whatever I say, you shouldn't do, and I'm going to just copy all of your guys' tactics. But I mean, I, I, Tyler was looking really, really fucking good, and I'm really sick of uh, Carissa. Carissa. <laughs> so I'm going to go with Tyler probably, and um, on the men's side, uh, Chanka was looking so fucking good. Good shout out. Is bit, uh, I'm, go, I'm probably going to uh, change my mind, but as of now, he was the guy who was, yeah, he was giving me, I mean, when you have a um, reaction of your eyes popping out of your socket, basically, mm. looking at the guy, he was the guy who gave me the biggest um, totally. expri- uh, what do you call it? Uh, surprise. Yeah. I, I think from yeah. st- start to finish of the contest, yeah. definitely. Because Felipe, even though he won, he only really started to come in form in the, in the final part of the contest. Early on, he was... He was getting through heats, but there was no magic. Uh, Joe had that fucking magic from start yeah. to finish, I think. So if I go by that, I, I'll go I'll go Tyler and uh, Huau. 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 Yeah. Okay, wow. Peg, go on then. Put it on the line. Um, <laughs> it's it's like, if Carissa is not going to win, then I would say number two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> two uh, and who's that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think actually um, Carissa is going to win this event in portugal so um unfortunately uh, fortunately whatever but yeah that's uh, that's the one i'm gonna pick and uh, i think um, as i already started uh, claiming in the beginning of uh, this that uh, Felipe is on a mission to just roll into another second world title he is um, fuck. He's so relaxed. He uh, as 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 I, as I kind of thought and felt, it was like, okay, the pressure of the first one is off. Now I can actually enjoy winning yeah. the second one. You know, Fair enough. and um, with Jiao, I have a feeling Jiao is the next one to be the world champion. But he has an eighty-five percent going through the whole contest plan, but then it's still missing a little bit somewhere. That's my. That's why. Yeah, he, I'm, he, I'm going to pick him, but not as my double. His wins coming up though. Jao, he'll win yeah. one this year. I'd say. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah he will. He will. He'll be a regular to the quarters and yeah. the semis. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, now that he's not coming up in John John first here every time, that's going to be nice. But like, yeah. Well, now that he's got a higher seed, he's going up against the lowest the lower seeds now. So he's going to make mints. Because mince, the question mince. is, who's going to be your double? You know, that is that is uh, the question. Uh, <laughs> If, if 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 they're second, third, or fourth, it's fine by me <laughs> if I pick them, you know. So, but who is your double? <laughs> who do you? It's the root of the evil. All right, Jonah here. I I think I'm going to go for uh, Caitlin. And the, uh, I actually I'm going to go with Tyler with the girls, and uh, I'll go 
Philip Toledo for the boys. Nice. Yeah. It's three Toledos in here, right? Cool. Mm. Yeah. And that was just coming off. And all of Brazil. Yeah. Well, you know what? But seriously, those turns that he was, those talked, fucked up, hard, hard, hard turns. It was like he was cutting the wave in half. Like there's the talk, you know, it took me back to Mick Fanning Stuss mm. days where yeah. he had, you know, he's got that, 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 Body talk where he can just swing like a dance move and the board mm. just does grinds through the water or whatever he wants to do sideways whatever you know but i think uh that s turn it's so <laughs> it's so nice it was like Zhao was the only one coming close and yeah, as far as john 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 last contest he basically i haven't really seen him make that many mistakes before yeah so it was sad but uh yeah now um yeah, he's, uh, the, he's uh, Toledo, super Toledo defined. has got the, he's 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 got that he's got that thing on lock now that turn. So yeah. hopefully we see a few of those in Portugal. Can't wait for it to start. Eighth of March till the sixteenth. Um, any last words before I wrap this yeah, one? Yeah, I have a last word. You guys, have, is the make or break season two come now? It's actually out. It's out. I now. saw so the first episode. Did you see the Kelly episode for the? Pie? Yeah, I did. Uh, did you, how many towels did you go through? Um, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! We haven't watched it. No, uh, oh spoilers! Oh, Spoiler alert! He doesn't really turn me on that much, <laughs> Kelly. So, not many towels. <laughs> And Tyler was just scissoring the whole time. I, I, I just, uh, uh, maybe a tissue, not a towel. Maybe a tissue. A little nappy. How many towels for you, Pear? <laughs> I haven't watched anything. I don't even know what we're talking about. Make or break. Make or break. Yeah, but what is it? Yeah, Ke Kelly winning one. a pipe. I mean, was, for, you awesome. old, for you old boys, it would be uh, like a relig religious experience. Like you'd be crying, you're bawling your eyes. So we're going to bawl. Yeah. Bo yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. Old boys. You know what? What, what is he talking about? The guys. I don't know, are, I don't know what he's talking about. Old boys? <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Hey, but all hail, Kel. We, I mean... I don't know. I guess this is going to be his last year, so we just want to. Uh, we said that, we said that many years ago. Yeah, but <laughs> I th I, this year will be the year. Yeah. He says he's got one good, one full year left in him. He reckons so. Mm. He and it was, seriously, the reason why he turned up this year is because not only that experience last year, but because he qualified. Yeah, you know, like he might he mightn't qualify this year, so I don't think we'll see him again um. if he doesn't qualify. We're just, I'm just it throwing is it out the there. mystery, Slater. I know it's the mystery, we'll see what happens. You're legend. I just hope he serves till he's 60, don't you? He's going to keep going till he pops, mate. He's not yeah. going to stop. Like, I mean, competitively, I he'll, mean, he'll, he'll... What yeah. I love about it is also he shows you what's possible. In You, you can keep going, you know? If you look you know, after there yourself. Is no, there is no culture that says, oh, you're 35, you are retired now. That's yeah. it. You're old now, you know? Exactly. It's, it's, if you look after yourself, if you do the right the right moves if I've known that about Kelly imagine I was 25 today and I was watching 51 year old Kelly surfing the, the world tour I was like what the fuck okay hang on a second you know I was like what was actually that's a little bit of, you know for make or break the season two mm. just give everyone a little tip bit it talks to Ke they interview Kelly and they go through you know what makes him different what makes him what makes you tick and he 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 goes on to tell everyone how when he sleeps at night before he goes to the contest, he dreams up all these scenarios like he's taking off on a wave and the wave is doing this. So it's like he backdoors the barrel. What what am I going to do now? And he he actually see he actually portrays himself and he he he's like a positive thinker, right? Mm. He kind of adapts and he kind of breaks down all the problems that he's going to face in like in his brain mm. so that when they happen he says he can react so much faster mm. he goes i've played this i he remember goes, that I've, I've played this out scenario. in my head mm. scenario over and over when we're talking about a wave like pipe predominantly for example a left swell or you know where they're just mm. basically surfing the pipeline or you know for example if they're going back door he knows that wave so well he can just like on command in his head like a computer pull up this this wave it reminds me of like a wave pool in his head right mm. he just pulls up the wave mm. he imagines he knows exactly he's been there he's seen a million waves break there he knows exactly it's going to break and he manages to talk about how he 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 can see himself in these positions and he's his basically brain is is taking notes yeah. on these kind of yeah scenarios he's going through his head i'm just thinking to myself 
that is so next level. Like, mm. like put yourself in that position. You're like, we've kind of done that maybe once or twice in our lives and kind of, you know, tried to kind of pre-thought or, you know, get yourself ready for a situation. But, you know, Kelly's, he's just the master at that. He's kind of like managed to, to, to put that on lock, which is fucking crazy, really. Yeah, you have pretty much 40 years to do that too. Yeah. So, hmm. Manifestation. Yeah. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. All right, manifest day. This we'll uh, talk each. Uh, we see each other probably before that, but we will be talking together here again sometime after the 16th uh, or around the 16th of March, maybe. Uh, I won't be here. You won't be here. So we, we Eva here. won't be here. But then we get Tim in. Jamie will be here. I'll be here, mate. I will be here. And surprise guests will be here. Oh, surprise guests. Yeah. In yeah. M- m- f- m- more than one guests or guest. You don't well, know. Whoever you you just... wins, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so with that, um, thanks you. Uh, th- it, it it thanks you for listening. Uh, until next time, this was the shizzle. Yeah, uh, get your picks in and Jimbo's dingoes is looking after boards so you cut that shit up in the end after I said <laughs> surf day surf shop <laughs> drop your boards and I, I won't be a terrible winner next time around yeah I'll be a good right, winner thanks yeah. ciao 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 oh but he- <laughs> <laughs> next time mock mock the shizzle on the whistle the whistle shizzle the shizzle on the whistle the shizzle on the whistle with Jamin and Pierre hey chankers Oh, yes. Actually, you know, at school, uh, you would have like these uh, for like sports carnival day, they would break everyone up into four groups and you'd have like a, you'd, everyone was given, I think it was a house. You had to follow a house. And um, at my primary school at Bondi, one of the names for, the, for my class was Chianka <laughs> for some reason. And so every time I hear... Uh, I hear uh, Jal. I always think of <laughs> I always think of my my primary school, like Carnival Day. How sweet is that? I know. And then I think uh, adorable. Yeah. <laughs> And then I just remember all the times we lost. <laughs> all the shitty times come back.